The Arrogant Flower Pecker Near the forest, there was a flower pecker family living happily together. They were the father bird, the mother bird, and the lovely little flower pecker. One day, Spar was flying when she saw flower pecker. She exclaimed, Wow, little flower pecker, you're so adorable. Your feather looks stunning. Hearing that, flower pecker was delighted. She ran inside, admired herself while looking at the mirror, and giggled. Since then, little flower pecker was dressed up in dressing up and making up. She refused to her parents to find food and chores. She was afraid that those works would make her beautiful feather dirty. Being carefully kept, the flower pecker's feather became even more gorgeous. Every time she showed up, all the other birds complimented her pretty feather. This made flower pecker more and more arrogant, and she usually criticized others, especially the dove, her best friend, was not even an exception. You're getting uglier. No one's going to hang around with you, said flower pecker to the dove. Hearing that, the dove didn't say anything and suddenly flew away. Flower pecker became more and more arrogant. Believing that her feather was the most beautiful, she never stopped criticizing whenever she was someone. No one liked to be her friend anymore. Whenever flower pecker flew down to other birds to play with, all her friends flew away and left her alone. After some time, flower pecker realized how lonely it would be if she didn't have any friend. She became sad and soon decided to go home. There, she told her mother everything. After listening to her, mother flower pecker said gently, It is because you have been too arrogant. You keep criticizing one friend to another. Everyone has their own strong points, and you and your old friends are beautiful. You must go to their houses to say sorry, especially to the dove, your best friend. Listen to her mother, Flower Pecker went to all his friends' houses to say sorry. Seeing how sincere Flower Pecker was, all of them forgave her. All of them happily flew to the sky.